guys, and welcome back to the Nightmare of the Streets of Raccoon City. There are still freaking zombies here. Darn it. It is necessary to go down there, because there's a, a weapon that we're going to need. Hope there's nobody else down here. Oh, me and my big mouth. Die. Uh, and there's also this. It's a lighter oil. This time around, we're gonna be assembling our lighter instead of getting the whole thing in one shot. So here we have the shotgun. It's gonna be very useful. Oh. Uh, all right. Um, so there are things in this game that are very different as well as uh, real-time events. Uh, what I mean with real-time events, I don't know how else you can call it, is that depending on where you go, you know, what door you open, because there are not, there's just, there's always not just one door. There's always like different doors that you can go in and get to the same exact place. So the problem with that is that sometimes by oh, sometimes by taking a specific door, uh, you might get a different uh, event going on. I know a few cool paths, but um, I'm probably not gonna get everything that is awesome. So. Here we have a map. So I'll try and do this as best as I can and try and get the best uh, the best scenes that I can remember. There are also real-time events that make you uh, choose stuff that hopefully at this part we'll get to see. gonna be awesome. There's also two endings of this game and I'm gonna pick my favorite one and pro and quite possibly is the real one and I want to believe it is. And then I'll explain uh, how the other ending is and I'm gonna explain also how you can get both endings. Ah! Oh here we go. So that's one of the random uh, things you can do. You can just tackle the zombie or roll around or something like that if you're facing the enemy. I really wish I, I knew how to do that properly, but... <laughs> oh boy. Get away. <clears throat> You can let him shoot the zombie down, or you can save him, but it really doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Star's members. There's no escape. So, you never seen Brad before, because they never show him on the first Resident Evil. But he's the guy that drives the helicopter. So, uh... Yeah, that's basically why you never get to see him, but he was on the first one, and he's the guy that gets them out of there on the helicopter at the end. And now he's running away, saying that there's something after the STARS members, and, you know, he's acting all paranoid. Paranoia! So we completed the, <clears throat> the lighter. For some reason, women uh, go around with a lockpick, but... 
with a with a with a with a safety pin. <laughs> and they never go around with a lighter, but I guess the average male is the one that smokes and um, most females don't, or at least that's what I think. I don't know. Cuz I've seen a uh, a lot of women smoke. <laughs> Although carrying a lighter doesn't mean that you smoke anyway, so what's the point? Alright, so as soon as we burn this, there's going to be an event going on really quickly. Uh, so there's one little problem here. You either have to wait a little too long or too late. So let's do this properly. Here we go. So there are still two left. At the bottom, you can get some red herbs. Oh, they run now. They run now. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> there are also freaking... Freaking dogs. <laughs> uh, I'm a ninja. I'm surprised I haven't run out of bullets yet. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stupid dog. So there's a fire there. Remember that place. We're gonna be coming back here later on. So here we have more uh, gunpowder, but this time around we got gunpowder B. Uh, gunpowder B by itself, it's uh, for shotgun shells. And uh, it, as you saw that I combine A and B, it makes C. Uh, later on I'm going to be showing you what C is for. If you combine three, three times C, you're going to get magnum bullets uh... yeah we'll, we'll go one step at a time when it comes to that but I'm gonna be making a lot of C's alright uh... this way so this place is gonna be awfully familiar guys yes we're at the raccoon city police department same place that was shown on Resident Evil 2. So here's the nemesis. Now when the nemesis appears, they're going to give you a real-time event that lasts for a while and it gives you two choices. Fight with the monster or enter the police station. This time around, this is the choice. When it's red, you got to choose. So, I mean, you can choose even before red, <clears throat> but if you let it, if you don't choose anything, the game by default uh, let, tells you that, whoa. The game by default tells you that you want to fight the monster and it's too late to run away in it now, so... Okay, here's the thing. Every time you kill the nemesis, you get something. You get, like, a case of first aid sprays that you can carry three at w in one sh slot. You get special weapons that you combine and then later on you have, like, a special uh, normal handgun but it's uh, a little more precise, I guess, and it hurts a little more. There's also a uh, a special shotgun that it's kind of like a... Uh, oh, how should I explain this? <laughs> oh boy. Let me check one second something. Okay. Uh, anyway, you, you you get a lot of stuff, and at the end, you also you actually uh, 
because you know uh, this guy is kind of like the Mr. X. Uh, every time you kill him, he comes back later. So it, there's uh, I, I don't even know how to explain this, but anyways, okay, fighting the nemesis is not like fighting Mr. X. Mr. X is beatable. The, the nemesis is not. The nemesis takes so many hits that if you make the math uh, on rocket launcher, you actually have to shoot him twice in order to kill him with the rocket launcher. So imagine how many shots that is on a no normal gun. So I don't. I would not. I would never have enough bullets to to beat the nemesis on this playthrough. Uh, the only way you can beat the nemesis through the whole game is with infinite bullets. And that's a special feature you get after the, you beat the game for the first time. <laughs> that you play special uh, games that give you points, and those points you can buy um, the infinite bullet uh, pistols or whatever. Or the rocket launcher. So I believe that's the only way you can actually beat the nemesis uh, through the whole game. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not like we're never going to fight him. There's going to be moments where, uh, where we really don't have any other choice. And those are the moments where I'll be ready with a special weapon. That's why I'm making uh, sea powders. Because... Uh, there's a weapon that is going to help me through the nemesis encounters that I have no choice but to not run. Uh, here's a file. Um, yeah, so basically that's what I'll be doing is that whenever I have a, ch a chance to run, I'll run. And whenever I have a chance to... Uh, when I don't have any other choice, I'll beat him, but, you know, just letting you guys know that for right now. Uh, there's also one thing. Let's say that you ran away from him the first time, and you decided to fight with him the second time. Now, there, it's gonna be too late to get all the items that the, the nemesis is gonna drop. Because, let's say you fight him the third time you encounter him. If you fight him the third time, you're going to get the item for the first encounter. So that's the whole problem with it, that in order to... Oh, in order to get all items, you got to absolutely fight him uh, on every occasion you encounter with him. And that means beating him twice, because that's why the rocket launcher takes two shots. And it's that one shot knocks him down, and then the second shot knocks him down the second time. That means that he has, uh, in technical terms, he has two lives. <laughs> also, now that I got this card, I remember that when you beat him, uh, right from the bat, you go to, the, to Brad's body, and... Uh, and you get uh, his uh, ID, the one that we got here, that it's Jill's. And you can open the doors even sooner, and you don't have to come all the way here to get her card. So there are benefits, but as I said, I don't have enough bullets, and it's impossible for me to beat the nemesis. Uh, so basically, now that Brad's de dead, uh, Jill is like the only stars member on the city and now that means that the nemesis will be after her only so that's why we're gonna be encountering him through the whole freaking game uh, he's worse than Mr. X let me tell you he runs sometimes he uses weapons uh, a rocket launcher <laughs> and he has a pretty freaking good aim uh, if he gets to you, he can grab you and throw you to the ground, and he just keeps grabbing you and throwing you to the ground, so 
he's a nightmare to be close to, so the best thing you can do is just run the whole way. And when I say run, I mean to zone out as fast as you can, because uh, the nemesis will have an advantage when it comes to running. Uh, sometimes he might even open doors, so it doesn't mean that just because you zoned out to the next zone, you're safe. Uh, he actually sometimes opens the door and keeps running after you, so... Yeah, this game is not good for people who have their nerves uh, damaged or something, because... It really scares the crap out of you when he's following you. So there we have it, uh, a code for the... There's a case over here that we need to open. Something that we didn't need for the first, uh, for the second game, but I guess now... Or maybe it's like a special compartment, but you'll see why I, I say that it doesn't make much sense, but I guess it's just the game trying to take time from you. So let's put the code in. I hope this is right. Okay. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it for a second there. So here we have the emblem key. You'll see what it's about, which doesn't make much sense, but... I guess over here we can grab something. I have a choice but to fight with all these bastards. So here's the cop that we took out for on the first on the second game. He has a file. Marvin's report. I guess this way should be the shortcut. And we don't have a choice about to go through here because the door the door to the other side is blocked. It's not like uh, everything is not the same here. But I guess it, it could mean that uh, I guess it could mean that, uh... That some people might have taken refuge here and stuff like that. Alright, so I'm gonna be stopping here and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.